Hey everyone, this is Lolo Reddy from Abstract Music Lab and today we're back with our sound design series. Today we're going to work on pads. This was one of the requests that happened in one of my previous videos in the sound design series. So today we're working with pads. Is We're just going to create two or three pad uh, presets over here. You can grab them all over here in the description below. And if you like the video, you can hit the like button. If you love it, you can subscribe to the channel. And if, as usual, if you want to support the channel, you can buy us a coffee or you can buy my preset pack available here in the top right corner. But let's get down to the sound design. We're going to start with Serum over here. We have nothing on it but the MIDI. And let's get down to the sound design. So basically pads, we have to make something ethereal. Okay, so pads, you can do etherealness a little bit with the reverb, for example, with this. You can see that it creates a lot of a boom, 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 and also attack. Some pads, they have this kind of a little bit of a, a, a fast attack, but this sounds a bit dull, to be honest. Normally pads, I like to using unison. This sounds a lot more like a pad, right? And using a lot of the filter as well. So in the filter, for example, you can just make it wobble a little bit. I don't like when you have a filter, when you have attack, because exactly of this, wah, 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 it kind of takes the sound away, but you can fix it, fix this with the reverb over here, for example. But still, I would go and keep this a little bit more. You can see it sounds a bit better, right? In addition to that, what you can do is sometimes I like having this kind of wavy feeling after the initial attack of the sound. So with the envelope too, we're going to create this attack, a really slow attack, almost nothing of sustain, a little bit of release. And this is going to be almost like a wave feeling in the sound. We're going to pick this and automate the cutoff over here. We're going to increase the attack. It's just a wave. You can have this possibly like this. But I like the kind of sustained feeling of the pad. So this is just an idea. But normally I like to enhance my pads with a bit more stuff than just this. You can either have another kind of wave. So for example, this mellow but unstable is a cool one. Again, adding unison to it. And the cool thing about pads is when it's not stable, it's actually unstable. It's a little bit more wobbly. So what you can do for this is either you can add an LFO here to the cutoff or you can add an LFO here to the white, white position over here. So or you can just come here and for another LFO, you can add it here to the fine. This is going to create a little bit of a wobbly feeling in the pitch. If you make it faster. But again, if you just want to make it smaller, it sounds a lot better because then it just creates a wobbliness to the sound, but doesn't actually change it that much. It just intensifying the sound of it. And again, I feel that this could have a little bit more release. And this also could have a bit more release. Some noise could be nice to create a little bit of a wavy feeling to it. So again, put the noise over here. Maybe with a third envelope. Again, not all the way. I'm just going to create something like this. Really just a whew. Yeah, 
it's just a bit too much low end over there. That's why we're gonna come here and add a little bit of a low cut over here. You're just trying to make some stuff a little bit more dynamic. But again, chorus. The good thing about chorus, you don't even need to change it. Like, you just play around with the mix. This is the kind of sound that the chorus will make from the beginning. It just makes it a little bit more unstable. And if you want to add a little bit of distortion as well, it, this is just going to make this the sound a little bit more, how can I say, analog? Maybe the tube is too much. You can see it has a little bit more of granularity to the sound. Lastly, if you want to add delays, it's up to you. If you want to add another filter, you can definitely do. For example, you can use this filter over here to create something of a different sound to it. So for example, this is a Foreman filter. And you can use this with an LFO. This is just creating a new character to the sound, and this is a lot brought up by this resonance over here. Or the formant. Leo, but I don't like this kind of wave. Well, just... You can even use this with a macro, so this way you can control this afterwards. That's it for preset number one. I was just giving a first idea with a raw sample, with this, just the default wave, how you can do a pad. But normally it stands up for a really long release, a really long reverb, maybe some chorus. It's, it needs to feel, not that it needs to, but it's good when it's unstable a little bit. Sometimes, for example, you can add it and do something a little bit more, a little bit simpler. For example, you don't need this second wave over here for the... Just a saw could definitely work. You maybe don't not need this filter. And this is maybe something you can see this has a little bit more richness to it than this one over here. This is a bit too much, right? This is a bit of a plain preset. So I'm going to leave it like this. So if you want, you can definitely just use this one. But again, what if we want to do something different? Okay. Can we do pads with sine waves? Yes, we can. We're just going to come here and choose two sine waves. Again, for pads, normally I like to increase the unison. Let's be careful with the volume. Another way that you can do pads is with band passes and you can make this wobble instead for example let me just put this a little bit after so this way 
this can create a really cool sound. And if you increase the resonance over here, can you see how it changes the sound? And we're just using sine waves, right? Well, if you want, you can go even further, but this is going to make the sound a lot more digital and You're using FM, you're FMing the sound from B to A, or you can do the opposite in FM if you want something a little bit lower in the spectrum. It's a similar sound, but that one, if you're FMing this one from to this one, it's going to sound a little bit higher because this is an octave higher than this one. But I actually like this kind of sound. We're going to keep it like this. We're just going to intensify over here the release. We're going to take a little bit of the low end out. As usual, I'd normally do this. Chorus, again, something that I normally just do this. Not going to add distortion, but we're going to add a little bit of reverb again. Leo, but I want to make this a bit more, a bit less, a bit higher. How can I do this? So let's try. We're going to use envelope two over here to create something. Possibly this. Or what you can do to intensify the highness of this is just instead of using this, so I'm going to bypass this. You can add a saw here in the sub. Include it in the... And you can use hyperdimension to further make this a little bit more detuned. Let me put this over here so the camera doesn't get on the way. And what you can do is add a filter right before the reverb over here. And you can use this to open up the sound. Maybe not as much, just a little bit. The resonance is going to create this kind of Again, you can just make it pluck here. But you can see how this sound is different from this one. Or this one. But Leo, what if we want to make something a little bit more synth wavy? How can we do it? To me, the the magic of the synth wave, it relies on the resonance of the sound. So it's going to be the same MIDI. We're just going to go here and work with another initial preset. It's going to be the same detune saw. Just so we can listen. I'm going to create here an envelope to, to modulate the cutoff. But listen, what about uh, listen to this? This pew effect that it's creating is it's created by the ref the the resonance without with. Maybe you can make this longer. And again, that wobbliness here in the fine is just going to make this more analog. 
intensified. Maybe we're going to duplicate this layer. So copy A to B. Okay, we're just copying A to B. We're going to make this one octave down. Put it over here as well. It's just a different example. And this can change a lot based on the midis that you're playing. This is the midi that we're playing for this one. It's quite a fast midi. If we were playing something a little bit not as fast, a little bit slower. So let's say we were only playing this chords over here. I'm going to add legato to this. Then it could be really interesting to do this kind of wavy effect as I showed you before just as a second wave to the sound, just so you can listen. Really slow. And you can add here delays to further intensify the sound. You can see the, the wow, 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 and reverb again. Reverb, it's key for, for pads, at least to me. just a different kind of sound. I love using either chorus or phasers are nice as well. But just be careful with the phaser. Can you see how this... It creates a second wave of the sound. So it definitely depends. This wouldn't work with this MIDI, but it would work with this one. So it definitely depends on the MIDI that you're playing. And again, EQ cleaning up the low end just a little bit. Really cool sounds, right? So as usual, if you like the video, you can hit the like button. If you loved it, you can subscribe to the channel. You can grab all the midis here in the description below. Uh, the presets, not the midis. And if you like the, if you want me to do any other kinds of sounds, so leads like this or leads like that. Do, well, I want to do a leads like Rufus the Salt. We can definitely do it for a next session. It's gonna be something definitely different, but and you can see some leads that I've done from Rufus the Salt as well here in the top right corner. But I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, you can hit the like button. But I hope you liked this video, and I see you in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.